Hi, I'm Jacob Gallucci, and today I'd like to make a list of what I think are the 10 best radio stations in Chicago. I was a radio major at Columbia College, um, Chicago, and um, over the last few years I've listened to um, Chicago radio now um, a lot more than I did before, definitely. And Anyway, here's my top 10. Number 10 is WLSAM, that's 890 AM. They're um, a news and talk station. But back in the day, they played music. It was a top 40 station from the early 60s until the late 80s. And um, number 9 for me is WGN. That's 7.20 a.m. It's um, a news and talk station as well. But they also air um, Chicago, Chicago Cubs and Chicago Blackhawks games, as well as Northwestern Wildcats basketball and football games. And I mostly just listen to that station for Blackhawk games, Cub games, and sometimes Northwestern games as well. And um, number eight for me is News Radio WBBM. That's 780 AM, AM and 105.9 FM. It's a news station. And they also um, they air Bears games as well. And um, number seven is K Hit uh, K Hits. It's 104.3 FM. It's um, WJMK. It's a, a classic hit station. When I was a kid, it was Oldies 104.3, and I, I miss Oldies 104.3. I really do. It's a shame that it's gone, but okay, it's is okay. It's better than Jack FM, though, definitely. Jack FM was terrible. Number six for me is The Loop. 97, it's 97.9 FM, and they play um, classic rock, and the station's not as good as it once was. Um, the Loop basically plays the same songs that The Drive does, and it's... The Loop was a lot better back in the 90s and even before then, when, before I was born, like in the early to mid 80s. And Number 5 for me is WLS-FM. That's 94.7 FM and they, they're they a classic hit station. It was an oldie station for a while, but now it's mostly classic hits and a lot of their songs are from the 70s and early 80s. They play a lot of classic rock on that station now and... Number four for me is ESPN 1000. It's W. It's WMVP. Um, it's 1000 AM, and that station airs on um, Bulls games, Chicago Bulls games, and I listen to it mostly for the Bulls games. Number three for me is 93 XRT. It's WXRT um, 93.1 FM. It's an adult album alternative station. They play. They play basically a combination of classic rock and recent alternative rock from like the 90s and the 2000s. It's a good station, it, but the problem with 93XRT is that um, they play a lot of the same songs and um, there's a lot of commercials on that station too. For me, it's the number it's the number two music station in Chicago. Um, number two um, for me is the score. It's WSCR 670 AM. It's my it's my favorite AM station. It's a sports station, and they um they pl they air White Sox games on that station. I listen to it for the White Sox games, and I like some of their personalities, like Lawrence Holmes and um, Les Grobstein. Um, Bors and Bernstein are they're okay. Um, Molly and Hanley um is good. They're good. Um, McNeil and Spiegel they're they're okay and. Number one for me is the drive. WDRV FM, um, 97.1 FM. It's a classic rock station and it's the best station in Chicago, in my opinion. They play great music and I love some of their shows. Like every weekday, um, they play, they have this thing called the 10 of 10. They play, they air, t they play 10 songs from a certain year. Usually it, it's, Either it's a year between like the mid '60s and until the late '80s. They play ten songs from that year, and sometimes they do special ten of tens, like Valentine's Day. They had ten love songs, and around Christmas time they had they play ten rock and roll Christmas songs, and um, they have the overnight album side at, at 3 a.m. They play um, a side from a from a great rock album, and. Um, they have Rock and Roll Roots that's hosted by Bob Stroud, and that's on um, every Sunday morning from 7 a.m. to 10 a.m., and he plays mostly songs from the 60s and 70s on there, and Bob Stroud's great. I mean, he knows so much about rock and roll, and 
I mean, I've learned a lot from him over the years. I mean, he's really he's really good. And they also have this thing called the Sunday Night Star, where a fan of the drive get has a chance to be on the air um, on Sunday nights from 8 p.m. to 9 p.m. And I've tried out, I've tried to get on that. Oh, I'm sorry, I've tried to be the Sunday Night Star, but it hasn't happened yet. I, I filled out an application over a year ago, but I didn't get a response. And yesterday I, I tried it again, but I haven't gotten word yet. Hopefully in the next couple of weeks or so, I'll, I, might, I, I might get an email or something. It would be fun to be on the air, you know. But the drive's a great station. It really is. Um, anyway, um, I'll be, um, I'm sorry for rambling here, but I'll be back tomorrow with two new videos. And um, until then, take care.